Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties and today I want to show you how I made this outline around the word outline um, for Cricut Design Space. So you can't do this within Cricut Design Space itself. Cricut just doesn't have that functionality yet. I'm sure one day they will. So I want to show you an outside source to do it. You're going to need Inkscape. I just came to Google and typed in Inkscape download it's going to pull this up right here. Just click that. And it will take you to download whatever, you know, if you have Mac, if you have Windows, you just download whatever version you need. It's a free download. Um, it's quick and easy, so go get Inkscape. Okay, once you get Inkscape, you can do everything from within Inkscape and then transfer it to Cricut Design Space. I've already got it here, but I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. Let me just move this out of the way. It's down here at the bottom and I can scroll back to it if I need to. Okay, so here's my workbox in Inkscape. Yours might look different. Um, I've got some customized settings over here on the side. Um, if yours doesn't look like that, don't worry about it. I'll show you how to get to the things that you need. Okay, so first of all, you want to pull in some text. Um, you, this is your text tool. Just click it and then click anywhere on the screen to type out your word. Okay, so there's my word outline. It's gonna come up in just a standard font. Um, you can change that up here. Once you're done typing your text, um, you can come up and change the text as long as you are still in this text format. If you click out, like if I come to my selector tool where I can now click on this, well, I can't come up here and change the text anymore. If I come back into the text format, now I can come change the text. Uh, let's see. Let me click. I had this in... I don't know what I had this in for this example. Let's use... We'll use this. Okay, now I need to make my word bigger so that we can all see it. I've got to get out of my text because if I stay in my text, I can't highlight my word to make it bigger. I'm going to come up here and select my highlight tool. I'm going to make sure my design is locked. Make sure it's locked because if you don't, it's going to go all like skinny and weird and it's just not going to be good. Okay, so here's my word now. There's a few things I need to do with this word to be able to work with it. The way Inkscape works is it recognizes paths and nodes. Right now this is just text and that's what it tells me. It's just text. It's not going to recognize that as any kind of feature that it can work with. So I've got to change it. While it's selected, I have my selector tool, I've selected the word. I'm going to come up here to path and I'm going to put object to path. So now this doesn't say text anymore. It says group of seven objects in a layer. What that means is each of these letters is its own object. And we're going to have to combine them. If you don't, this is what it's going to look like. It's like not welding. If you're in Cricut, it's going to cut into this, and that's going to cut into that, and that's going to cut into that, and we don't want any of that to happen. So, we need to essentially weld it together. What you want to do, whoop, got into my nodes. You just want to click into each letter. I've selected the O. I'm going to hold down Shift. Select U, T, L, I, N, E, all while holding down the Shift. If you don't want to do that, you can just drag a box around it and it'll select them all that way. Once you've got all your letters selected, come up to Path and Union. Now, if I show you that different view, you can see it's one word now. They're not separate letters anymore. Okay, so we used the text. We typed in our word. We went to Path object to path, then we highlighted and selected it all, and we went to path union. Now we've got a united path. Here's where we start to make our outline. Okay, 
Now that it's all united and that it's all one path, so it's just path, not seven, you know, seven objects, we're going to come to path and linked offset. Now you notice my cursor changed and I got this little diamond up here. That means I'm working in my nodes now. This is my node tool. Um, so that you can see this, I'm going to change the color. I'm going to just come down here and click red. And now when I make this outline, you're going to see it show up in red. You can click here and drag, and you see how that's coming out. Um, that's one way to do it. It's not my favorite way. I'm going to undo everything I just did, or it's going to get all messed up when I go back to the right way. Okay, so path, linked offset. So if you don't want to drag your diamond, all you need to do is hold down your control key and press your right parenthesis. I pressed it once. I pressed it twice. I'm actually going to press it one more time. Okay, and now for me, that's, that's a good enough outline size for me. For you, it's whatever you want on your project. I'm going to come back to my selector tool. I'm going to move this word out. Okay, we need to fill in these gaps. Um, there's a couple ways to do that. You can get back over here in your little nodes, and you can drag, and then hit backspace, and it deleted that. Um, that's a pretty detailed way to do it. Another thing you can do is just hit path, break apart and you can see it's got all these um, highlighted now while they're broken apart while they're all highlighted come hit path union and that did it for me that filled in all my gaps so what I have right now is a shadow I don't want a shadow I want an outline so I'm going to do this whole process again okay I've got my word here I'm going to come to path linked offset I'm going to turn it a different color this time. I turned it blue. And I'm going to hit Control right parenthesis. And I'm going to do it twice this time. Because I don't want it to be as big as the first one. So that's what's going to end up making my shadow. Let me move this in here. So that's, that's what's going to make my outline. Sorry. But again, I need to um, fill in my gaps. So I've got this selected path, break apart, path, union. Okay, I've got those together. I'm going to highlight both of them. I'm going to align centered this way and align centered this way so that they are perfectly on top of each other. Um, like I said, I have my quick tools over here. For you, you would come up into, I don't even know where it is anymore, this one. This is your align and distribute tool. And then you would get these options over here. Once you click this, it'll pull up your options and you can center everything the way I just did. Okay, with them centered, select everything. Come to Path, Difference. Now it took out the middle section. Put my word back in here. Align, align. There's my outline. Let me turn it all one color. So you can see it. There it is. It's that simple. Okay, now to get this into Cricut, we select everything. We're going to go to Object, Group. That's just like grouping in Cricut Design Space. You want to make it the size of your square here um, because if it's outside of the square, it won't save. Actually, let me come down here, get rid of that guy. Okay. There he is. So there's my outline. Going to hit File, Save As, name it whatever you want, Outline SVG, save it wherever you want, head over into Cricut. Okay, let me kind of close that one out. So we're going to upload that SVG we just created. Upload image, go browse, go find what you just saved. There it is. Yep. Bring it into Cricut. Yay, there it is, all done. Upload, insert image. There's the outline. That's it, it's ready to cut. It's all ready to go and you're done. 
All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Thanks so much.